I'm your own favorite chef. I'm Amy, and today I'm going to show you a really new recipe that is so fast, easy, delicious, and really healthy. My favorite kind. So, what I've done here is I've gotten some sweet potatoes, and uh, what we're going to do is grill them. And we're going to make them spicy and delicious, and grilling sweet potatoes is something new, but it's really easy and they are perfect on the grill. So what you want to do first, uh, I've peeled two sweet potatoes, and then in a big pot of boiling water, I put those in for six to seven minutes, depending on the size. This one, which is a little thinner, took six minutes. This one, which is a little thicker, took seven. What you're looking for is to be able to pierce them pretty easily, but you still want them to be dense. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when I cut them. Let's cut the end off. You don't want them completely done, it'll fall right through that grill. Now I'm going to cut about three fourths to an inch size pieces, so <sighs> you still want it to be hard to cut. That's the perfect texture and size for grilling, and that's all we're going to do for right now. Okay, once they're all cut up, and they certainly don't have to be perfect, some are a little funky. It's okay, it's part of the beauty of making stuff at home. What we're going to do next is make sure they are pretty doused in olive oil. I use extra virgin olive oil so you don't really taste it much. We want a lot of oil because we don't want them sticking to the grill. I'm actually going to add some to the grill as well because they do have a tendency to stick. And next is flavoring. Now obviously you can do whatever you want flavor wise. I'm going to give you ingredients to make a really spicy, smoky, delicious, pretty hot tasting uh, sweet potato. So, what I got here is we start with one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning, which is really salty. That's where most of our salt content is going to come from. But you want these to be really salty. By themselves, sweet potatoes are pretty bland. They need a lot of that salt, and it'll make them delicious. To that, we've also added a half a teaspoon of chipotle powder. Chipotle and sweet potatoes go together like peas and carrots. They're absolutely delicious. Chipotle powder is really, really smoky, really spicy, and it pairs perfectly with the natural flavor and sweetness of the sweet potato. Then we add a fourth of a teaspoon of chili powder. I like chili powder because it kind of balances that spicy of the Cajun seasoning and the chipotle powder. It's actually a little sweeter, and so it works really well with it. And then we have a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Um, clearly, I can't make anything without a little garlic added to it, but I think it adds a little depth. And then, because we need a little bit more salt, we've got a fourth a teaspoon of salt and a fourth a teaspoon of ground black pepper. I'm hoping that this is enough to cover, and I mean like really cover, all these sweet potatoes because I have under seasoned these a couple times. I've yet to over season these things. But the secret is, even if they do happen to be under seasoned, by the time they're cooking on the grill you can taste one, see how you like it, and add a little extra seasoning while it's on the grill, which adds a little extra freshness anyway. So I'm really, really going to season these up, like really, and you're going to go, Amy, that's too much, you're crazy, but it takes a lot to season these, these are really thick pieces. So once these are evenly coated with the oil and all of your seasonings and flavorings, it should look something like that, and you're ready for the grill. So I've got my grill preheating, I want it to be on about 350 degrees, and I'll see you guys outside. All right, guys, we're outside ready to grill our sweet potatoes. I uh, put some oil just on a paper towel here. We are at 350. And I like to put these direct, like, more on the flame. Gives them a better char. And like I said, these tend to stick, so I'm oiling this down first. Okay. Then we can add these. Stick them on the grill. We're going to cook these. I'm going to look at them in about three minutes. Some are going to cook faster than others, depending on their size. But we're going to look for really good char marks. Then we're going to flip them, cook them on the other side for about the same amount of time. And we know they're done when they are fork tender and really good and charred on the outside. So once these are down, I'll cover the lid and let the grill do its magic. Okay, I've been checking these every about three, four minutes, and it's been seven minutes now, but I don't want to tell you, after seven minutes, flip your potatoes. 
uh, grills are different. So again, what we're looking for is a nice char. And it's gonna look a little burnt. It's just because there's so many spices and flavor that are caramelizing on those beautiful sweet potatoes. So we're gonna flip these over. I'm gonna let them go another who knows how many minutes until the next side is charred. And then we'll try them out. We'll make sure they are fork tender and make sure we don't need to add any extra flavor. And then we will eat. Hey guys, it's been about five more minutes. I'm just checking these, moving them around because you know heat distribution can be a little different on grills. And I want to make sure that they taste good. So I'm going to take this itty bitty little potato. No one's going to miss it. And let's go ahead and give this a taste test. So far, we're really close for it being done. See how that cut right open? So if we need to add any more seasonings, now's the time to do it. It's hot. Oh. Nope. That's pretty perfect. Wow, okay. So just do what I did in the kitchen, and this is delicious. All right. If, however, you do want yours a little saltier, a little spicier, feel free to add a little extra more Cajun seasoning or our spice mix that we did in the house. Just sprinkle it on top or you could brush it on, mix a little more olive oil if you want it to be a little more juicy. Uh, these do dry out on the outside a little bit, but I like it. It kind of gives it a crunch, kind of like a nice french fry. And uh, the rest of these are almost done. Once they are charred equally on both sides and they cut open just like this, I'll test a couple. We'll take them off, we'll give them a taste. In the meantime, mm, I'm going to enjoy this and sweat. It is so hot. All right, see you in a couple minutes. All right, guys, a couple more minutes on the grill, and these were perfect. Again, you're looking for a good char on each side and for them to be fork tender. And they're going to be the most amazing combination of sweet from the sweet potatoes, spicy from that spice mixture, and I hope you like them as much as I do. And uh, the asparagus, well, that's a video to come in the future. As always, thanks for watching. Become your own favorite chef. Enjoy.